bit frosty today. Yeah, good morning. Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms. Uh, I think this morning is our second frost. Um, it's at least our second. I can't remember if we had one on Monday or not. I think it was just yesterday and today. But um, yeah, cool start to the day. The bulls are thinking, yeah, why don't you go ahead and feed us? But we'll do that um, amongst many other things. We're not gonna walk down there, maybe later on. You can see the, the new barn really going on up now. They, uh, I guess they've only worked on it one day since we last filmed because the rain um, had them rained out. But they'll be done framing it today. Um, maybe even start getting some of the roof on it today. I suspect unless they decide to work extra long today, which I mean, it's already nearly eight o'clock and they're not working yet. So it'll probably be tomorrow before they get done, whatever. Then we're gonna do just a little bit of um, dirt work, get some concrete poured, and then we'll get our pins set back up. But anyway, let's get uh let's get these boys fed, and then um well, I'll just start making the rounds, getting everything else fed because yeah, everything's hungry this morning. Yeah, I need to take some more hay up the road to the, to the yearlings, those heifers. Um, yeah, they are going through the hay pretty quickly, which we are taking them some of the last hay we rolled. Uh, you know, I guess it has now been rained on like two or three times, um, but very little overall. Um, cows at home really aren't going through hay, but in an effort to, uh, you know, kind of work smarter work, or work smarter not harder or kill two birds with one stone rather than us take some of the hay that we've already moved home carry it to them we're just coming out the field um in spite of all that rain we had we we're so dry um not even the least bit soft stop and grab these rolls take it to them it's just two less rolls that we have to move home here um i don't know may, may even try to get into some of that later today probably not we, we've got a pretty um, full day already planned okay uh i know we shared the sad news of my father-in-law's passing in the last video um unfortunately have a little more sad news um you know we had talked about my my grandfather and his birthday celebration in that last video as well we in fact went to his birthday celebration right after we quit filming that um he unfortunately at, at three days shy of his 100th birthday passed away um it was not not nearly as unexpected um he had been doing really well until the last few weeks and um you know i've told a bunch of people over the last few days that have, you know 
sure condolences with us that you know he he was ready i saw, last saw him just a few days prior three or four days prior to his passing and he had you know he was telling me goodbye um and so but yeah still still sad 100 years um it's amazing too you know you know someone for for 40 years and still you know they pass and within just hours you, you learn stuff about them that you never knew um and of course i knew they grew up you know very poor you know most people in that time during the great depression um what i didn't realize my great grandfather so his his dad was only 16 when he was born they were sharecroppers so um yeah being a parent at that age during that time um yeah, it probably goes without being saying that they didn't have much. Um, of course, like most people that age, he, he fought in World War II, um, fought in the Pacific, uh, the Army. When one of the neatest stories, and I did know this about him, I heard this story several times, but when he got home from the war, um, he told his dad that, um, mom was never going back to the field um, again they were sharecroppers she worked in the field um, every day but he, he said no more you know, it, it, he got home from the war he was it, you know they were gonna be able to provide she wasn't gonna have to do that anymore i thought that was that's pretty cool he um graduated college taught school and coached for a few years then he, he went to work for the dupont company retired from them after 40 years and I remember that I was old enough I remember going to his retirement party um, you know four kids and I, I was kind of I was having to think about it for a second between his kids and then his you know son and daughters-in-law um, I believe six of the eight are doctors um, veterinarian pharmacist dentist oral surgeon like you know, certainly left a legacy behind. Um, we're gonna miss him, but um, yeah, that's one thing. Later on today, um, we do have his visitation, so uh, that, that's not until this evening. We've got a full day ahead of us between now and then. But yeah, I wanted to share that. Um, I hate that we've got all this sad news all at once, but um, that's life. Um, that's, that's that's you know how it goes. But. Appreciate everybody's kind words. Appreciate all the birthday wishes everyone gave him. Um, he appreciates them too, even if he wasn't officially still with us on his birthday. Still amazing. This crew is all patiently awaiting the arrival of breakfast. Uh, I haven't quite cleaned up that roll of hay over there. Be getting close. Uh, the other one's kind of down the hill. I can't see. I think it's probably all gone. Put out these few buckets of feed and then unload that hay. Does that sound good to you, Sadie? Sound like a plan?
brought one roll home. We, it's kind of the same thing. We were driving right by there anyway. One of the fields right along the road just had one roll left in it. So like, well, we'll pick up one, bring it in. So yeah, we're, we're, we're slowly moving the hay from that last cutting, just one or two rolls at a time, whether it be with, uh, with the truck, with the tractor or whatever. So yeah, kind of one of my plans for the, today, depending on how long it takes us to get done with the, the absolutely, um, you know, must do chores was finally hook the trailer back up to the truck and start, you know, get all that hay moved home. But uh, yeah, at this rate, we're gonna get them all moved just one and two at a time. But anyway, um, cows here at home, need to ride back there, look at them and uh, probably put them a roll of hay out. Well, we can talk about it, we can go and do it. Um, need to go look and see what their hay situation is. Probably take them a bag of range cubes. I believe we have some animals demanding to be fed, but they're not out of hay. There's still that roll right there. Um, <coughs> it'd be hard to talk until I get them fed. Put out a roll around the corner over there. They ate that roll slap up. Um, for whatever reason that they aren't eating on that one quite as quickly. It's the same cutting hay. I don't know what, it's, but it's always like that. <coughs> Put them a bag of range cubes out. And then, uh, so I know we, that hay feeder over there is empty. May bring another hay feeder back here. Go ahead and put two more rolls out while we're at it. And uh, have them content for just another day or two. that will shut them up for just a few minutes. Uh, now I mentioned in the last video too that we needed to uh, do some things with my father-in-law's cattle um, since that he has passed. And we did <clears throat> get up there on Sunday, didn't film any of it, uh, hauled a few to the sale barn, hauled a few back here. So yeah, if you're, if you're watching, for those of you that are really attentive and regular viewers and thinking, Seems like there's maybe just a few more cows, but you probably haven't thought that yet because there's still a bunch that hadn't come up. Um, you'd be correct. We, uh, guess there's nine more mama cows um, and three calves here that came from his place. Um, this is one of the cows. Um, there's, I don't know, a few others that they're easy to tell because they don't have tags. Um, they all had, have, they all had tags at one time that just have come out over the years. But one of the reasons we need to get our working facility back in order so we can run them through, get identification back in their ears, pregnancy check them, um, that sort of thing. But anyway, we're gonna ride back up here, get the tractor and uh, bring some hay down here to them. All right, over here getting the last cut of hay moved off some of these fields. Uh, we've also got some of the hay it was from the first cutting that had gotten rained on that we hadn't moved home yet. Um, we're trying to move all of it home. Uh, trying to do the math in my head. I believe we have 18 rolls over here on this side. Call seven at a time on the trailer. Thinking we'll make two trips. That'll leave four more rolls. Take two in with the tractor. And then we'll leave two that we'll uh, pick up at some point just with the truck to uh, you know, take to the other farm to feed. Uh, there's no sense in hauling them home, then using the truck to haul them back right past here, uh, especially when we're gonna be using them here probably within the next just three or four days, we'll be needing them. But anyway, like a couple of trips, I don't know. We got some more on the other side of this farm to move to. I don't know if we'll get to all that today or not.
now can come the tricky part with these older rolls which most of them are still standing up pretty good we strategically put some newer rolls right there over the wheels where they're hard to get off anyway and same thing i want to put the, that really squatting one on the back so that hopefully i can get it off there so uh yeah we'll see if we can do that nothing to it Made one more trip or one more load home with hay. That's everything from across the creek on that farm where we have to drive all the way around. We've still got two more fields on this side. We still need to move that hay. Um, and also the first cutting it was on this side that the yen got rained on that we just stacked on the edges. Probably another 25 or 30 rolls to move home and then we will officially have all the hay out of the field at home ready to be fed this winter um did go ahead and put a few rolls out we've got some spots where it's washing on some of these hillsides um just for a little erosion control reality the cows will probably eat on those eventually at some point this winter um obviously once they're in those pastures um and that's fine uh, whatever they don't eat um isn't really waste it's it's going on the ground and, and helping uh and stop that washing but probably all I'm gonna move today, it's two o'clock, I've still got errands to run, a um, few more things to get done, and uh, yeah, gotta be at the funeral home this evening. So uh, we'll worry about the rest of that this weekend. Um, they're working on the barn construction. They will be done tomorrow. Back. As I'm walking up here towards the house, probably show you you'll be able to see they've got well they probably got a third of the roof on they won't won't lack much more than just doing the trim work tomorrow which ought to be nice um start doing just a little bit of dirt work inside it oh yeah you can see from here roof going on yeah they're getting they're getting close to halfway on that and uh get some concrete poured and then we'll be ready because so i was telling them just now it's like not, not that I was trying to rush them, but I was like, it's just terrible timing. Because um, little did I know, we would be bringing in some of my father-in-law's cows, needing to to work them, get them in the shoot, see who's pregnant, see who isn't, get tags, just all those sorts of things. I also need to get my calves weaned, uh, springborn calves. Then we need to have the barn set up to start feeding out some steers here in just about another three weeks. So anyway, lots going on over these next few weeks. Um, some of it is on hold until we do get our facilities back in working order. But I'm rambling on about that. Um, Y'all just need to keep watching in. We, uh, I got some ground beef thawing out. We're gonna make a pot of chili probably to eat tomorrow night, um, work on that. But as always, you know we're eating beef. We want y'all to do the same. Y'all eat beef and God bless.